when we talked about changes in government spending, you learned that if the government spends a little bit, then that money will be earned as an increase in somebody's income. And they, of that increase in their income, they will save a certain percent, and then they will spend the rest of it. And then that rest of it that gets spent is earned by somebody, and they save a little and spend the rest. And it continues and continues. That was for spending, but now we're going to talk about what happens when they change taxes. And if they change taxes, it's going to work a little differently. It's going to work for the most part pretty similar, but it'll work a little different in that um, if the government is going to start off by changing taxes, instead of spending the $20, they basically are just telling this person that, hey, we're going to cut your taxes by $20. So the 20 bucks you thought you were going to have to give to us, now that's yours. You keep it. So the yellow suit dude is going to think that that's basically just like earning $20 because it's $20 that he doesn't have to give up. So it's the $20 increase in their disposable income. And when they get that, they're going to say, like, oh, okay, well, then I'm going to save a certain percent, and then I'm going to spend the rest, just like if they had earned the 20 bucks. So the rest of the rounds will continue the same, and the next person is going to get that $18, and then they're going to save some and spend the rest, and then it'll be round after round of spending. But the thing that's missing is that first $20 of government spending. When you did the spending multiplier, when the government spent money, government spending is included in GDP. But here the government didn't do any spending, so the $20 cut in taxes can't be counted in GDP. And so the change in GDP that will result from a cut in taxes of $20 is going to be a smaller change in GDP than if they had spent $20, because that initial <clears throat> $20 of spending is counted in GDP. So if the government had two choices, and they could say like, oh, we're in a recession, we want to either spend $20 or cut taxes by $20, between those two choices, the spending $20 is going to have a bigger impact on GDP than if they cut taxes by $20. Here's the tax multiplier. You did the spending multiplier and how to do the math for what the change in GDP is going to be if they do spending. Now we're going to talk about the math when they do taxes. The tax multiplier is um, pretty easy to figure out. You take the spending multiplier and subtract one because there's one less round of spending going on when you cut people's taxes. So the formula that you use is the negative change in taxes times the tax multiplier is equal to the total change in GDP. So it's similar to the spending one, it's just that in the spending one it'd be change in government spending times the spending multiplier equals the change in GDP. So here's a sample problem. Can you use that formula? to figure out. Pause the video now to figure it out. Answers 20 million. How did you get to that? The spending multiplier in this economy was equal to 1 over MPS. So 1 over 0.25 is equal to 4. So the tax multiplier then is 4 minus 1, which is 3. And then you're going to take the change in GDP amount that's wa wanted is 60 million, put that 60 million into the formula where it says change in GDP, and then put in the tax multiplier of 3 in the equation, and you get what times 3 equals 60? And that's how we got 20. So the taxes would have to decrease by 20 million. And, um, yeah, decrease.